up, what up? Jeff Joseph, back with another video. Listen, you see the thumbnail, you see the title, so you already know what I'm about to talk about. But listen, before I do, make sure that you subscribe. You clicking that button one time really goes a long way. So please subscribe to the channel. You see how nice I ask? You should subscribe just because I asked so nicely. But listen, also do me a favor and like and comment below what you think about what I'm about to say. But listen, I'm at the Amazon facility, about to pick up probably my last Amazon load or my last weekend doing Amazon really because all these changes, man, look, these Okay, they got the Okay, they up, okay, so So anyway, I'm gonna talk more about that little PG-13 later on. But for now, I'm about to go ahead and load this truck up and uh, I'll talk to y'all right after this when I'm done. All right, y'all, so it is approximately 2.22 in the morning. I'm at my first stop for this Amazon uh, drop. It's a postal drop, and as you can see, the gate is locked and nobody is here. I am early, so I guess I'm just gonna have to wait. But I know I said this already. I wanna say it again, just for emphasis. If you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. There's a lot of people who watch my content. And there's a lot of work that goes into making these videos, and y'all know I be dropping gems. So if that's you, if you're one of the subscribers who have seen one of my videos and this is your second time or third time, fourth time watching one of my videos and you have not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe because I definitely really do appreciate it and it really does go a really long way. So thank you in advance. I appreciate you. But I want to get into real quick about uh, these changes Amazon Relay is making. It's going to make it real difficult for box truck owners to sustain in this economy. First, the big thing that they're doing is stopping drivers from being able to double book loads if there's any type of overlap. Right? So you might book a load in the morning for the afternoon that maybe takes you all of an hour or two, but Amazon will say that it takes you about four or six hours to complete that load, even though it doesn't take you that long to complete that load. If it interferes with the next load, which most of them do, the next load that you will be able to take based off the drive time, based off of the distance and all these other factors that they include, you won't be able to double book those loads. So that's gonna take a lot of people out the game because if you can't double book those loads like that, then it's really hard for you to sustain it. Which most of y'all know, I just found out about doing that a couple weeks ago anyway, and it really has not been that beneficial to me in this area, only because it's so competitive in this area that you literally have to watch the low board and refresh every three seconds because as soon as it's up there, it's gone that quick because people are really like snatching those loads up as soon as they see it on the low board. So those morning afternoon runs is like basically impossible to do in the New Orleans area unless you know you get lucky. I got lucky a couple times and I was able to book like two or three of them. One of them was canceled. I was only able to double book twice anyway, but that's gonna mess a lot of people up nationwide. So that's the first big change. The second big change is, I don't know if this is true for everyone, but I know that I've been getting emails from my domicile. I know that I'm based in Texas, even though when I'm over the road, I'm all over the place, but my family's in Louisiana, so I've been in Louisiana a lot. Um, but I'm based in Texas, so I keep getting a lot of emails, communications about how you pretty much have to have short-term contracts in order to make money. And I don't know if this is true for everybody, but yeah, for the conversations that I'm having, it seems like it's it's pretty true. Um, I don't know, y'all comment below and let me know if y'all have heard anything, if anybody else has been talking about it, but it seems like you pretty much have to have short-term contracts in place in order to get any good loads with Amazon Relay because everything else that I've been seeing up there has been pretty trash. It's been very trash. So I don't know. It's looking real tough out here for Amazon Relay. I don't know if that's going to change when peak season comes, if there's even a peak season this year, because who knows, that might change too. But for but, me, I'm pretty much done with Amazon until peak season. I'm about to go back over the road. I probably should have just went back over the road whenever I was telling y'all that I was going to go back over the road. So it's my fault. I can't really blame anybody else but me. But this is the first month. The month of August um, was actually my first month since I've started that I actually didn't make any money. In fact, I actually lost money. And I didn't go back over the road because 
I didn't feel like it. <laughs> That's the truth. I didn't want to go over the road, so I didn't. And then I went to Vegas and spent more money. <laughs> but but anyway, not the point. The point is I didn't want to go back over the road and um, I, it cost me. Um, but that's okay because I'm about to go make it right back over this road. Y'all already know how I do. Get at least $1,000 a day. So yeah, it's not looking too good if you depend on Amazon Relay. Unless, you know, you get one of these short-term contracts and that's your thing. And you, you know, figure out a way to twerk that. For me, that doesn't seem like a viable option. So I don't know. Y'all let me know yeah. below if y'all have any uh, tips and tricks that could help uh, with this situation. Or if y'all heard anything that might be beneficial to me or to anyone else, let me know in the comments below. Also, I did want to say real quick that I did hire a driver and he started while I was out of town and uh, he did pretty good. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm working on right now securing a second truck and we just going to be over the road together uh, whenever he's ready to like really take over the truck. But, but for now, y'all comment below and let me know y'all thoughts on this situation again no more double booking um that's gonna be a situation and you basically gotta have short-term contracts in your domicile in order to make any real money with amazon relay so i don't know how that's gonna work y'all comment below let me know y'all thoughts and i'll catch y'all in the next video